Hello everybody. Today I want to do a video based on a common question that I'm starting to see come up in the forums. And uh, there's two questions and so this is question number one. So now that Forms, Microsoft Forms, allows us to upload a file attachment People have asked, how do I get those attachments to be attached in SharePoint? And so I'm going to demonstrate one way to do that. There may be others. I do want to point out that you can only get this uh, control if your settings of your form. So if you go into settings, it has to be only people in my organization. And if it's not only people in my organization, when you go to add this new item, the file upload will be grayed out completely. All right. So if it's grayed out, it means that this form is not constrained to your company, your organization. And so you would change that setting and it would not be grayed out. Um, if you don't see it at all, it means you may not have the most recent version of Forms Pro. So um, you'd need to get that version and update your version or get the appropriate license so that you can use Forms Pro. All right, so that's the dependency on having the attachment for uh, field at all. Okay, so what I wanna do uh, totally is I'm going to allow people to fill in this form and attach up to three attachments. Again, going back to the settings, when you add the attachment control, you can also say what's the maximum number of attachments and what's the maximum size limit. Now, I recommend very highly that you do not maximize these attachment sizes if you plan to move those files around because the bigger they are, the more likely they are to time out um, as you're doing uh, migrations. I'm going to use that word even though it's probably overkill. All right, so try to keep your attachment sizes down. Also realize that this is per size, per attachment. So if you said they can upload three and each of them are a maximum of 10 megs, then you're going to have a max of 30 megs to migrate. But if you say one gig and you say three, now you've got three gigs of content to migrate. So keep that in mind. All right, so now that you understand the form dependencies, let's talk about SharePoint. So I actually have an environmental log here in SharePoint that has some extra fields, a little bit more than that form, because we're going to be processing it here. And so on this, I'm going to um, edit my current view and just show the attachment column. Um, and this will enable us to make sure that it was added. And I'm just going to put it all the way in the front of my view okay so now I will see when I have an attachment and we haven't had any attachments today to date but we're gonna do it today we're gonna actually add the attachment and the form data to this list alright so let's do it 